To fix black screen of death in iPad Pro, mine works, but if yours doesn't, the first fix is we're going to do a false restart. So I'm going to start the process in 3, 2, 1. Click release volume up, click release volume down, click and hold the power button and keep the cell down until you see the Apple logo. While it may seem like I went a little fast there, if you don't click the buttons with the exact same speed I do, then the force restart won't initiate. So you may need to rewind the video a couple of times, and when we see the Apple logo release from the power button, you may need to rewind the video just to get the timing down precisely. Give this about five attempts, do this, you know, and if you see the Apple logo, great. If you don't, the second reason why you had the black screen of death is the charging port needs cleaning. So let's look at the charging port on this iPad. And to get a better look, I'm gonna get a torch from my iPhone. I'm just gonna shine it in the hole. So my port is clean. If yours is not, you may want to go in and clean it. So you can either get a needle, a piece of tweezers like this, or what I would recommend is a brush, and just brush the charging port. Okay, go in like that. And so that should help clean out the gunk. You, if you do use like a needle or uh, pliers, be very careful that center part of the charging port. Make sure to go in at the bottom right and then scrape across and pull up. So I'll do that again because the camera blurs. So scrape down, pull across, pull up. And do that for the bottom left and the top right. And you won't actually hit that center part. And then once you've done that, just charge the iPad and see if that fixes it. If it doesn't fix free, is we need to put back in the battery cable or the display cable. So to do this, flip your iPad over and just tap really hard, maximum force all the way around the back of the iPad. I'm doing this quickly, but you want to go really fine tune, maximum force all the way around the back. Then do the same process for the front. You're not going to break your iPad by doing this, okay? And then with two thumbs, just push them together all the way across the front, all the way across the back. Then do that force restart, showing the solution one. And if all fails, sadly, you're going to have to go to Apple, but hopefully this helps.